Hi friends, this is Sharon from Mad Paper Crush. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday and we're gonna be doing part three of my Working With Digital series. And I just wanted to remind you that this is just an idea kind of video. I want you to get ideas so that you can do different things with your digital, digitals, your printables. You can change them up and put them in your journals to make them look different every time that you use them. Um, if you want to look at the other videos, if you haven't seen the other videos in this series, I've linked part one and part two down below so that you can see it there. And also I have um, some detail about the different things that I've used and things like that out on my website. I will have a blog post about part three as well. So you're welcome to go out there and check that out. Also, if you're interested in having all of these ideas in one place from all the different parts, so part one where we talked about prepping our digitals and printing them and adding paper, and then we talked about um, fabrics and textiles and that kind of thing, and then also this one, all the different ideas. If you'd like them in one place, I have a link down below where you can get a little ebook that has everything in there to remind you of all the different ideas that we had here and hopefully spark your own ideas for working with digitals in the future. So go check that out if you're interested. And today we're going to be working with digitals. We're going to be adding heavy metals. We're going to be adding things that add dimension and texture and color to your digital. So let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk heavy metal. So there's so many different um, metal pieces out there that you can put on your digitals and make them look so much different and frame things on them hang things off them so you're going to be adding all kinds of texture and you know weight to them and even color because they come in different colors and things like that so there's eyelets so these are eyelets these are um, some small ones here and they're just one piece that you would use like a crocodile or um, another you know eyelet tool to bend this back part over the paper so you would end up with something like this. So this is the front of the eyelet and then the back so that it's sort of pinching the paper together kind of looks like that. So that's an eyelet and eyelets are cool because you can put so many things on them. So, you know, I have a piece of little um, binding string on here right now, but you could put one of these um, garment pins on it. So this is just like a little pin and you could hang this off of an eyelet and add, um, you know, you could add beads to this. You could add some ribbon or some sari silk or, you know, something that kind of hangs off of it like a tassel. You could even add some keys on there and that would look really cool too. So eyelets are really fun for doing stuff like that. And then um, they, these are not eyelets. I'm not even sure what these are called, but they're kind of like snap heads or something um, because they don't have a hole in them. But the backside is very much like an eyelet and it works the same way. So it just gives you, you know, a, a different look. But these are really cool to frame things um, or to, you know, have things stand out and just be shiny on your digitals. Those would be great too. And then there's brads. So brads are... Um, brads are these little pins that have a double foot on them so that when you pull them apart, they bend back inside or back across the paper. So I have, um, I think I have one here. So this is the bottom of the brad once you get it into the foot there. Um, so brads are really cool that you can use. And then grommets, which are a little bit like eyelets. Um, they're basically, they have the same piece from the top that goes on one side, and, but it does have sort of this cover piece that goes on that side so that um, it's kind of a nicer finish on both sides. That's what the, the grommet is. So it's just kind of a two-pieced eyelet, but it works basically the same way and you would need a tool, you know, to bend down the foot part of the, the grommet too. So those are definitely things that you can use. And now I'm just going to show you some examples of things that um, you may have already seen um, if you've watched some other parts of this series, because um, 
like when we were adding ribbon and things like that, I had put an eyelet in first. So this one is an eyelet. You can see how it's kind of crimped over and pinching the paper down. Um, and then it's, you know, the flat on this side, but it's perfect to, gives the paper nice stability to put a ribbon or something in um, and changes up your, your digital. So you can see how I brought in some of the colors from the bird and it really, you know, makes a nice look there. Same thing with tabs. So if you have digital tabs that you've put on your digitals or, you know, just regular tabs, you can use eyelets there with some ribbon and stuff too. And these are um, great places to put, you know, like your garment pins in to hang things off of um, as well. And then um, this one just has this digital. I just put two eyelets in and then tied some binding twine in between the two of them. And I really like, you know, the the way that this adds, you know, some dimensionality to it and, you know, adds some black color to the to the whole picture there. So that's an idea for eyelets and brads and grommets. Oh, and I wanted to show you this one. So this one I had, I put brads in um, the corners of the digital and I love the way it sort of brings out the gold color of this um, feature in the middle there, this kind of candelabra thing in the middle there. But it's also cool because a brad in one corner can make a nice little hidden journaling spot. So the other three brads are in the other three corners and there's even place to journal on here, but then you can keep it closed up and it looks like it's one, um, one piece, but it has this nice little hidden backing to it, which I think is, which I think is pretty neat. Um, so the other thing that you can do with some heavy metal things is you can use um, keys to stick down directly onto your digitals, um, or you can find some like filigree things to put down. Now these are these are kind of heavy. These are like the Tim Holtz keyholes, and um, these are just some side pages, um, corner corner decorations, I think. Um, so you'd really have to be sure that your, you know, digital maybe was printed on cardstock and was, you know, backed really well to be able to take the weight of this, you know, on it. But I think that that would be really cool, um, cool on it as well. And even the keyhole would be really neat, you know, to, um, maybe cut out the keyhole. So there's a hole in the digital after you put this on. I think that would be a really cool idea. So look around at the different, you know, pieces of things that you have and see what you can use. So there's even like these um, these blanks. I've used these blanks, these brass blanks before to stamp words and things on, and they would be really fun to add to a digital as well to add a date or, you know, any kind of word or something in there um, just to add a little bit more of a feature to it. Um, I even have some, and not everybody has these, obviously. You can't buy these, but um, this is was a plate from an old filing cabinet. So I think that would be, you know, really cool on a digital as well, just to add some, some more um, variety to it. So look around and use your imagination. See what you've got. I've got these, got these little clocks and sundial things. Those would be really cool on something. And the only thing you just kind of need to look out for is the, the weight on your digital. So you need to be sure you're not adding so much weight that when you pick it up, it's, you know, it's folding all over the place or bending all over the place or something like that. But look around, find the metals that you have and get them onto your digitals. Let's talk about buttons. So there's so many things you can do with buttons as well. This is, you know, kind of like the metals. There's, you know, really an unlimited amount of things that you could probably do with them. So for instance, this one, I just added a um, a button that had, I tied some string in there, so, some purple to match this tab there. And I did that on the button first and then I just used like some E6000 to glue it down um, to hold it in place. So, you know, it can be as simple as that. You don't even need to put the string in it if you don't want to. If you have a, a button that, you know, is very in contrast with the digital that you're using, it would look great on there as well. So this one, I was just gonna try to maybe show you the contrast here. So this is the original digital, you know, printed straight out of the printer there. And then I just added these three buttons on the bottom there, bringing in some string from the, um, the moth 
there. So, and I, I, I love the way that looks. I love the way it pops, but then also, you know, it adds some texture, it gives you, gives your finger something to do. So buttons are really cool and you can use them in so many different ways as well. You could um, sew a button onto a piece of fabric and put the fabric onto your digital. Um, you could, you know, sew a bunch of um, pieces together to make like a booklet, you know, with buttons as kind of the closure or something. So there's a lot you can do with your digitals with buttons as well. So how about wax seals? I think wax seals, I'm pretty new to them myself, but I love the way they add to a digital. So I made some wax seals and I, I kind of made them separate. So I did them on my, like a silicone mat. I made them first um, so that I could put them wherever I wanted. But then I added this one to this tag with the same ribbon that I had put down here and glued it on. And I really like the way that one turned out. So I think wax seals, you could probably do a whole lot of things with them as well. Um, the other thing I was thinking that we could do with a wax seal, I have this um, marbled one, which I think matches the envelope here pretty well. And I was thinking it would be cool to, since I don't want to cover up my owl or make this, you know, seal this closed. I think if we make this like a little tuck spot, I think I can glue this on down at the bottom here so that it becomes just a nice little tuck spot for this envelope. So I'm gonna try and do this um, on camera here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue about halfway down here, leaving the side, um, some of the side and the top open so that when I put it down, now I probably put way too much glue on here. I wanna leave that area open at the top so that it becomes a nice little tuck spot. And I'm just going to see if I can hold this down and pull this out and let this dry for just a minute. So we'll let that go and we'll um, come back and see if that worked. But I think that would make a great addition to this envelope that I've already lined and gotten ready to go to add some ephemera into. Okay, I think our wax seal is dry now. So let's see if it works. So um, let me see, where's my, I have a little card here that fits right in here that I haven't done anything with yet, but you can put that right in your envelope and then just should be able to tuck this right in the top. Perfect, so wax seals I think are a great addition to your digitals. Another thing that you can do with digitals is make altered paper clips. So there, this kit has a couple of little stamps in it. And so I just used them. I mounted them on some cardstock, put some thread in between and glued on a paper clip. And this becomes a really cool, um, let's see if I can find something to put it on. Really cool addition to page toppers. You could even add these to your digitals to make them, you know, to add stuff to them. I think that's really neat. If you're interested in making them, I will link below um, a tutorial I have on doing altered paper clips. So if you have stamps or tickets or banners or something that's the same size, or it doesn't even really need to be the same size um, in your digitals kits, these make great altered paper clips. So I hope you'll try some of those. Here's something else you can try. I love this idea. Take napkins and do decoupage on your digitals. I think this is a, an awesome idea. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some decoupage glue and this is just Mod Podge watered down so that um, it'll be a little bit runnier, a little bit lighter texture for me to get on. And all I'm gonna do is um, decide where I want my napkin. So I've taken my napkin and I took the pieces, um, it was a three ply napkin and I pulled off all of the different plies and I'm just gonna put some glue down and see if I can get these flowers on this note card here. I think it'll be, I think it'll look great. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue on and then I'm gonna get this down here close to the edge and then see if I can get some glue on top. 
to really kind of get it down. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here. I kind of know where I want it. I'm going to add some glue. And I'm just going to put this little purple flower that I think looks great with this skelly. And then put that down too. So um, I could probably go over the whole thing with, um, with my decoupage glue just to, you know, seal everything in but I don't even really need to do that. So I'm gonna let this dry so you can kind of see what the finished product looks like for this as well, because I think this is a great idea. I mean, look how much color we just added to that digital. Look at how this turned out. I totally love it. I think it's just the amount of pop that this one needed. And I went ahead and added some stitching and um, some journaling page or coffee dyed paper on the back there to journal on. I love the way that one turned out. And it's just the napkins are so they're real thin so you can, you know, see things coming through, which I love about that, too. Stamping is another great way to add to your digitals. Um, you can use, you know, any kind of stamps that you want and any kind of inks that you want. You can do embossing. So you could stamp with your Versamark and then do some embossing powder on it. I think that would be really neat. So there's a lot of different ways that you can add to your digitals just by doing that. So for example, you know what, let me do, I think I'm going to try, I'm going to use this embossing pen and I'm going to try to do some embossing on these beetles here. So I'm just going to use my pen and actually I'm going to grab my, I have my tray so that I can, so that I can um, emboss it right away. So I'm just going to use my pen and I'm going to outline and color in this top beetle and see if we can add some sparkle to him. So I'm just gonna try to get his legs a little bit too. And once I get them all colored in, I'm going to add my embossing powder right on top. And then let's see. How that looks. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to move that out of the way. So I'm going to use my heat gun to heat my embossing powder. So I will turn off the sound for you. Okay, it's all dry and I love the shine that it gave to him. And I think, I don't know if you can see it, but when I move it back and forth, um, it looked like it like it didn't quite get all the spots, but I kind of like that because I think the back of a beetle would probably be a little bit bumpy. So when you feel it, it's pretty bumpy, <laughs> which I think is cool. So I'm going to do the other two as well to give them all some shine. So I'll be right back and show you how that looks.
Okay, here's another one. And I totally love how this one turned out too. I don't know if you can see the see the shine on the beetles' backs, but I love the way it turned out. And I went ahead and added some lined paper and sewed around it. And I think this one looks really great too. And it feels really cool to the touch. Like you can feel the bumps and everything in it. I think that looks awesome. Okay, friends, that's it for part three of working with digitals. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it gave you some ideas of things that you can do, some different things that you can do to change up the way your printables look so that you're excited to work with them and putting these things into your journals. I would love it if you would leave me a comment below and let me know if there's anything else that you do that is something different than what I've done because I know that there's so many more things out there. I would love to hear your feedback to let me know how you alter your digitals or your printables to work with them in your journals or your paper projects. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope that you've subscribed to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Take care, friends.